What is going on everyone? I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com and I'm here to give you an unboxing of a couple of Skylander figures. Both of these are basic figures. The one on the left hand side is known as Sprocket which is a tech element Skylander and the one on the right is known as Whirlwind which is a wind element Skylander. Now me and my little brother love playing Skylanders and love collecting these figurines because they're just a ton of fun and we do look forward to the upcoming Disney's Infinity later on this year which we'll also be collecting figures for as well. Now, of course, it was my little brother's birthday today. I had bought these two figures for him because we didn't have these in our collection. And um, I asked him if he would like to do an unboxing together for these Skylander figures. But he's currently opening up his other gifts as well and putting everything together. And he said he gave me permission to unbox these for you guys here on camera. So that's what I'm currently going to do. And, of course, after this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the uh, what Skylanders that we have in total of which ones we got. So let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and start with Sprocket right here because Sprocket is a new Skylander. What I mean by new Skylander is that Sprocket was not in the original game. Uh, this one came into the Giants. You're going to notice right here. Let me go ahead and show you guys. That this one can only be played in Skylander's Giants and not the original because this is a new character. And of course, the Whirlwind um, is a Series 2 figure, which means Whirlwind was in the previous Skylanders and will work with both games. This is just a new model version of Whirlwind, which I'll get into here in a couple minutes. But let's go ahead and unbox Sprocket. So over here, it, which is a female Skylander, it says on the bottom, the fix is in. Usually when they are, you know, upon the portal of power, they usually have a saying every time they, uh, you know, you put them into the game. Now what I like about Skylanders is that if you're a collector, you, if you don't like opening your figures, which is alright, because you can actually place the whole box itself because, you know, they read right here on the bottom. And you can actually place the box on there without opening the package and use the Skylander, which is pretty cool. So if you're the collector who doesn't like opening your items, uh, I think that's a cool plus. But me and my little bro obviously love opening our figures and that's what we're going to do. So, and of course, uh, I got these at Toys R Us because Toys R Us was doing a buy one get one fifty percent off of anything with Skylanders, uh, which Toys R Us does that a lot because I think they're trying to get rid of them or something. I'm not really sure, but uh, hold on. But I do highly recommend check out Toys R Us for a buy one get one fifty percent off deal. Okay, so you have one of these little uh, sheets that's basically, you know, just like kind of like a little instruction booklet. Of course, telling you how to input the code because you can actually play this game on the PC as well. Uh, let me go ahead and show the uh, character card. Pretty cool looking artwork. And of course, there is the attack, defense, speed, and luck. So she has really good defense, which is nice, and decent attack. And of course, speed is about 50 and luck is about 50, which is not too bad. I mean, the maximum is 150, as you can see. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys what else. And of course, just like all the figures, they come with a, um, you know, a sticker that you could place on the the sheet that you get in the starter pack to mark off to indicate which Skyland that you, to indicate which Skylander you already have, which is pretty cool. So that's that. So let me go ahead and show you guys the figure itself. But here is Sprocket, which is a tech element Skylander, as you can tell by all the gears on the bottom. Really cool looking Skylander. She's got a giant uh, wrench up on top, which I wouldn't want to be beaten by that, to be honest. And from the screenshot I saw in the box too, it looks like she builds turrets and all kinds of crazy gadgets to, uh, you know, to defeat the opponents, which is pretty cool. Um, probably tomorrow when I get a chance, I'll get some gameplay up with Sprocket and Whirlwind to show you guys these two characters in action. But that one is Sprocket, which is really nice. Like I said, rubberized material, so they don't break really easy, which is really nice. So that was Sprocket. Now let me go ahead and bring Whirlwind out here to unbox for you guys. Like I said, Whirlwind is a Series 2 figure. Whirlwind was in the original Skylanders, and of course right here on the box indicate that you can use this one and the new giants and of course the um 
the Spirals Adventure as well. I know there's a new Skylanders game on its way called uh, Switchables, I believe is the name of the game. So let's go ahead and unbox World Wind. We've been wanting to get World Wind for a while. Uh, now we got a chance to get World Wind. I believe World Wind is a female Skylander, if I remember. But feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. We don't really save the boxes, so uh, if you're kind of curious why am I screwing up the box, like I said, we don't really save these ones. Certain ones I do save and others I don't in terms of other products. Of course. Just like the other one, you're going to get the little instruction booklet, like so. And of course, you're also getting a character card so let me go ahead and show you World One's character card once again really nice artwork with the character um, decent attack the defense is really low for this character speed is good and of course this character has a lot of luck so really nice so it's a nice way to earn some uh, lucky points for this character like I said this is a wind element Skylander and of course just like the other one you're getting a little sticker sheet as well to mark off which one you already have. Now let me go ahead and show you the character. And this character actually looks really cool. Got the nice detail on the wings. And this one has like rainbow style attacks, which is interesting. Like I said, uh, tomorrow if I remember, I'll show you guys some gameplay. Really nice looking artwork, nice pose as well. Kind of like, you know, either it's, you know, she's getting ready to take flight or just about to land. So, like I said, that is Whirlwind and, of course, Sprocket as well. So, let me go ahead and tilt this down and then let me go ahead and show you guys what Skylander figures we uh, currently have in our collection. So, like I said, that the two new ones is Sprocket's and World of Wind. The other Skylanders that we have, we have Chill. This one's a cool one. I'm still looking for a light core Chill. I'm not sure if that one's out yet or not, but Chill is a really cool character. We have Flashwing. Flashwing is one of my personal favorite Skylanders. Next up, we have Light Core Drewbots. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Skylanders, Light Core figures light up and they're much more stronger than a basic figure. So, when this one's placed upon the Portal of Power, his little crystal on the back actually lights up. He's actually a really cool character as well. So, I would I would highly recommend getting this character or pretty much any character, whatever catches your interest. We have Double Trouble, which this guy reminds me of something from Crash Bandicoot. Which is uh, why one of the reasons why I got him. Actually, I got him in a three pack. Uh, here is the giant that came in the starter pack. This one is known as Tree Rex. This is the only giant we currently have because the giants are like pretty much sold out in our area, and all that's left is like three packs and basic figures. Um, next, we have Gil Grunts. Another cool looking Skylander. He was in the original, so he's a Series 2 figure. Next we have Jetvac. He also came in the starter pack. Then we have Voo Dude. He is from the original Skylanders, you know, off the green base. Uh, if they're from the Giants, then they have a orange base. Voodoo is a pretty cool looking character. Then we have another one from the original Skylanders. This one is Flameslinger. Really cool looking archer. Then we have Igniter. Igniter is one of my other personal favorite Skylanders. Then we have 
uh, Cinder, which this one came in the starter pack as well. I don't think the repeat of Spiral has been released yet for Giants. I'm still in the lookout for that one. Next we have Zook or Zoke. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right. Then we have another one of my personal favorites, which is Lightcore Prison Break. And he is the last one in our collection currently. So when he's placed on the Portal of Powers, his two crystals right here um, actually light up green, which is really cool, especially at night. So anyways, that is our current collection in terms of Skylanders that we have. And of course, that was the new figures, like I said, that you know we got today. Or that I got him today for his birthday. Like I said, Whirlwind and Sprocket. But anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions in terms of the figures or Skylanders in general, I'll be happy to help you guys out. My opinion is a game that's definitely well worth getting. Like I said, there's supposed to be a new version of Skylanders coming out, I think, later this year or next year. And of course, we do have the upcoming Disney's Infinity as well which is going to be a nice competition for skylanders which will also be using figurines but that one's going to cost more money in terms of the figures but we're going to go ahead and see how that one turns out i believe i'll be doing a walkthrough and review for that title but i'll let you guys know later on in the year but anyways if you guys have any questions feel free to leave that in the comment section down below and remember gamer fusion empowers your gaming